All right, so this is what my TV looks like, right? Before connecting, and this is what the Motorola phone looks like, okay? Now, let me show you something really awesome. And now this is what it looks like after connecting our Motorola phone to the TV. And you won't believe me, this is actually a trackpad. You can see I can use the mouse. You can see I can play games if I want to. If I scroll to the right side, you can see I can enjoy the TV as well. You can make it into mobile desktop. I'm gonna show you all of these features, okay? And the best one is gonna be the mirror device. So I'm gonna just gonna click on it. It will automatically screen mirror my Motorola phone onto the TV. It's absolutely awesome the way it works. And I've never seen this, these type of features in, in, in any smartphone. Hey, so. what is going on everybody? I'm Ruz and welcome to another amazing tutorial. Not only I'm gonna show you how you can screen mirror your Motorola phone to your TV completely free, but I'm also gonna show you using the smart connection option on your Motorola to absolutely have amazing options right from your phone to your TV. You can get total five different features, okay? It's absolutely free, everything is just built into it. So let's just dive right into it. Did I just rhyme? All right, so there's a couple things we need to do before we actually dive right into it. So this is a Motorola uh, 50 Edge Fusion. Actually, it's Motorola Edge 50 Fusion, okay? So I'm sorry about that. So this is a pretty, pretty normal, pretty normal Android phone coming from Motorola. So what I'm gonna do, the so what we have to do on the phone is pretty simple. The first thing is gonna go, the first thing you're gonna, the first thing you need to do is to go into the settings page. So let me just go into the settings page. Inside the settings page, go into the network settings, go into the Wi-Fi settings and enable the Wi-Fi. Now this is really, really important because it's a keep, so keep sure, so be, fo be sure to follow, okay? This is really important, so be sure to follow. So what I'm gonna do is make sure my phone is connected to my home Wi-Fi. That is really, really important, okay? So let's just say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you can actually use the mobile hotspot coming from your phone, which I'm gonna show you later in this video, okay? But what I would recommend is not to use your hotspot. Make sure you use make sure to use your home Wi-Fi. It's completely free, it's homey, and you don't have to worry about mobile data or credit plans or anything like that. So I would highly recommend using your Wi-Fi. But if you don't have Wi-Fi connection at the if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection for whatever reason, you can actually use a hotspot, which I'm gonna show you later in this video. Okay, it's absolutely simple. So once the Motorola phone is connected to the home Wi-Fi, that is pretty much all you have to do. Second up is gonna be the Moto Smart Connection. So let me just drag it into to my home. You can see it. It's actually called Smart Connection right there, which, which we will be using. It's a built-in app into every single Motorola phone right there. It's completely free. But if you don't have that app, I'm gonna also show you another way, so don't worry about that. So in this case, I have the Smart Connection app right there, and we're gonna be using that. And again, if you don't have the Smart Connection app, I'll show you the manual way as well, okay? So don't, don't worry, do not worry about that. So once the Motorola, Motorola phone is connected to the home Wi-Fi, that is pretty much all you have to do. Now we have to do the exact same thing onto the TV. By exact same thing, I mean, we need to make sure the TV and the Motorola phone are both on exact same Wi-Fi connection. So let's do that. Pretty standard Samsung TV, okay? What you wanna do is go into the menu settings. Inside the menu settings, go into the general settings and find a setting called network, okay? It should be common, it should be easy to find, okay? So go into the network settings. Now, if you have done this before, you can actually just click on network status that will automatically check the connection for you. So if you have never done this before, like me, but actually I have done this before, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, okay? So click on open network settings. Now inside the network settings, you wanna click on wireless. If you wanna go wired, you have the option, but I would not recommend it. Go into the wireless option. Click on wireless and this will absolutely, this will actually search all the TVs that are available to you. So. As I said, as I said before, you can actually use the hotspot if you want to. So right there, that is my Motorola One Fusion hotspot. I don't know why it says Motorola One Fusion. It's actually 50 Fusion, but <laughs> it is what it is, right? If you wanted to, if you want to connect to this, you can actually do that. The password should actually be your hotspot password. Really simple. If you want to do this, just click on that. You can just enter the hotspot password, and it will connect. It will, and it will connect. Okay but it's not recommended so i would def i would just go to use my home wi-fi as you can see mine is connected there's a 
tiny red there's a tiny green icon next to it it's actually blue but i said it green but as you can see i'm connected all you have to do is enter the wi-fi password and that is pretty much it as you can see i am connected i'm just going to click on network status just to make sure that i am connected as you can see i am connected and that is pretty much all you have to do you really don't have to do anything else on your tv okay so literally just uh exit let me just exit and this is the basic home screen on my tv so let me just take out the Motorola phone and let me show you exactly how it works, okay? All right, so I got the Motorola phone. Now, as I said before, if you don't have the Smart Connection app, as you can see right there, you can actually use it, use the manual feature. So I'm gonna go into the settings once more. Go into the settings, go into the connected devices, right? Go into the connection preferences. Now, inside the connection preferences, you would find an option called cast. That would actually let you cast your Motorola phone onto your TV completely free, right? So just click on cast. As you can see, in this case, I'm just going to click on cast and it automatically open up the smart moto application right there. See, really simple. By the way, if you're opening this for the first time, it might ask you for uh, permission. So I'm just going to close everything. I'm going to show you again how it works. So as you can see, once I click on cast, it should automatically uh, open the smart connection app right there. So I'm just going to do it again. As you can see, once you open the smart connection app, it should look exactly, it should look, it should look exactly like this. Okay. So what you want to do is click on get, get started option. It's really hard to hold it with one hand, honestly, click on get started and we'll ask you what kind of device you pairing with. In this case, we have a display. This is called a display. It's not a tablet. It's not a PC. It's a display. So just click on display and you can automatically search multiple displays if you have multiple. In this case, I got multiple displays. You can see right there. This one on the top is my home. This, this one on the top is the Samsung TV right there. See, all you have to do is just click on connect. As you can see, it's connecting. It might ask you for permission. It's actually dead at the top right corner. You can see it's asking for a permission. It says Moto 50 Fusion finally. All you have to do is just click OK. And you can see it's connecting to my Motorola and on my phone it says connecting as well. So just give it a couple seconds and uh, it will take a couple seconds depending on how fast your internet connection is. So don't want, do not worry about the black screen, okay? So give it a couple seconds. There you go. All right, so this, this is how it should look like at the first, okay? When you connect it, this is how it should look like. And this, by the way, is a trackpad. This is like a mouse trackpad that you get on the laptops. So you can see I can use the mouse. You can see it's working really smooth. I mean, I cannot believe it. The first time I saw this, I was absolutely amazed by it. I've never seen anything like this before on an Android phone. All you get is just screen mirroring and everything. But this this is next level from Motorola. I appreciate it. I love it. It's amazing. So as you can see, you have two, we have, we have five different options. I promised five, so we have five, okay? This is one, two. I mean, I don't have to count it, but you can see we have five, right? And the fifth one is gonna be this one. That's called mirror display. This is basically gonna mirror, I've shown you before. So I'm just gonna show you all these options and I just wanna dive into the mirror display at the end, okay? If you want, just want to mirror display, just click right on top of it and click okay. You just tap on your screen, it will automatically mirror it, okay? But I'm gonna start with the mobile, what is that, mobile this desktop, right? Just click on okay. It's gonna, mobile desktop is opening. We'll take a couple seconds and right there, see? Click on next. It's gonna give you a nice little tutorial. All you can do is just click on next. I'm using using the mouse, by the way, right there, see? Right there, see? It's absolutely awesome. Click on done and you can see right there. So this is like, this is like a tiny PC that you get on your TV. It's absolutely awesome the way it works. Oh my God, I, I cannot believe it, bro. This is like, um, this is like a laptop screen and this is like a mouse pad, right? See, you can actually open App Store on top of it. Wait, let me. Let me find App Store, it's right there, right? Click on, double click on it, it's right there. Oh my God, bro. Oh, oh, it feels, goes, it feels so good. By the way, if you wanna scroll, I don't know if you, if you know this, but you can actually use two fingers to scroll right there, see? Two fingers to scroll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you again. Two, two, two fingers, right? And you just kinda scroll. Um, it's right there, see? If you, wanna, if you wanna go right, two fingers to the right, see? Two fingers to the right. Two fingers to the left. Uh, right there. Let me just go to go at the top. Wait, sorry, right there. Amazing. 
amazing. Oh my god. I, I do not believe it. Let me just close that. You have two you have multiple options. You have Gmail, you have photos as well. What is this? Files. This is Chrome. You can actually double you can open Chrome. Oh my this is like a tiny Chrome. Oh I can type in my wait. Oh by the way, you get you get the keyboard. You don't have to type it manually. So let me just type in myself. Right? I'm just gonna click on it. Oh there you there you go. This is my YouTube channel. I can open wait, let me just open let me see what else is there. Let me just double wait wait double right there. Oh we got the Instagram as well. You can actually install these apps. And by the way, this is absolutely awesome. It's asking for the uh yeah, I don't want that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I I do not believe it. Oh that's me. If you want if you wanna follow that you can actually do that. Uh, Instagram is on in the description box below. Be sure to be sure to follow. It's really awesome Man, I love this. It's absolutely awesome. It's absolutely awesome Okay, so the way you go to the home is really simple click on click on the home option right there As you can see we are home now you can watch TV I'm not gonna go into the details of all of these you can actually go to TV you can video chat as well the feed will be on the TV as and the camera will be your phone, right? And last but not the least, actually not the last, fourth one is gonna be the game. If you got the game, if you wanna play games, you can click on it. And it's so smooth, you can actually play games. I'm not capping at all. There's no games at the moment, but you can actually add apps if you want to. I'm not gonna, sh I'm not gonna go into the details at the moment. I'm just gonna go to home and I'm gonna give you the last but not least, the mirrored display option. So let me just click on it and we are connected. The display is being merged to right now. It's awesome. It's amazing. The audio will be coming from the TV. So let me just give you an example. I don't want to get I don't want to get copyrighted. So let me just open the YouTube. All right. Let me just open up a video. By the way, the it's right there. Okay. The first thing you want to do on your phone. Uh, the audio is coming from the TV, which is awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. That's it for the video. By the way, if you want to stop, you can actually go into the Smart Connection app if you want to. And you can see right there, you can have the option at the bottom right corner. You can click on disconnect, which I'm going to do right there. Click on disconnect. And we are back to the normal, normal TV, the boring, the boring normal TV. Okay, there you go. Pretty simple. And the phone is back on. So it's absolutely awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope, really, really hope you enjoyed it because I love making this video. This is by far one of the best videos that I made. I mean, Android has too many options, bro. The iPhone doesn't have that. Not even close. <laughs> well, I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. All right, so that's pretty much it for the video. That was pretty amazing. Not gonna lie to you, that's just amazing. Motorola featuring a lot of different options that I've never seen on an Android smartphone before. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below, okay? I will definitely, definitely get back to you. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. That's gonna help the channel a lot. So be sure to subscribe, okay? I'm Riz, I'm signing out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.